You ready to go this morning then, huh? Ready as I'll ever be. That sound you hear is a roaring waterfall and this beautiful stream running steeply down the hill that we're climbing. Taking a nice break here, this beautiful scenery. If I don't die, I'll be okay. Cookies and milk, the only way to go. We're raising on up to the top of this mountain, and these raisins sure are good. Here we are at Glacier Pass after a an interesting hike from Mineral King. Let's get some comments from some of the hikers. I think we should have went the other way. Hey, are you sure this isn't Mount Everest? Exercise a la carte. I do think it was a nice smooth ride up here. That hill was a booger. That was nice. Well, we did what nobody else dared to do. Mineral King to Glacier Path. Mama, come get your baby boy. Good morning everybody, here it is, August 8th, Sunday morning, 9.27 a.m. Morning, Dan. How do you feel in that tent there? I feel better laying down. I had a little headache there. I just... Explain what you've got here, Ed. Well, I, I call it my lemon pie action. It's a, a cooler. It cools my lemon pie so I can eat it. Ah, oh, looks good. What you got there, Jim? Well, it's a blueberry pancake mix and kind of looks like a heart beating, you know. Boom, 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 boom. What's the secret of fire building, Peter? Good wood and a lot of hot air. Oh, those pancakes look good. They're imported, aren't they? I could tell because of all the foreign matter in them. You better hurry up, it's cold. Look, no smut. <laughs> Don't want to lose my ducky. <laughs> That's enough, folks. Well, we just finished a nice church service in this beautiful spot. A little stream running by talked about the experiences that this group has had in the past with the young men in their quorum as they've grown up over the years. I'm grateful to be here. We left Spring Lake this morning a little after nine. We arrived at Black Rock about one o'clock, give or take a half an hour.
saw the trail, it was below your trail where you came out of... Here we are at the top of Black Rock Pass. You've just all gotten in here. What do you say, Brother Simley? What do you think of the view as you see two big, huge watersheds, one on each side? What a glorious sight. Standing here on top of Black Rock Pass at 11,672.8 feet. Looking to the south east or so, I see this marvelous view. Snow right here in front of us and down below us a thousand feet. One, two, three, four lakes and a little ponds. Glorious as I walk over to the edge here so I can see it a better look. Face of the sheer cliff. I see nice, clear lakes, real tall peaks, lots of snow, sparse trees, and rocky terrain. Yeah, I wonder how they got that train up here. <laughs> it's beautiful. David Gunnell would love it. What would he say? Beautiful to behold. All right, up here we have golden trout and what looks like a combination of golden trout and rainbow trout. Beautiful fish. Fishermen out. I'd like to interview the 
champion fisherman of the day. Peter Steinley, how many fish did you get yesterday and how did you catch him? Well, I caught 19 and kept 16 or 17. And I caught him on two flies, both of which were falling apart. See several out of the boat and most of them off the rocks. We've come from Big Five Lakes, which we left at a little after nine ways and then cross over to Soda Creek and hike up Soda Creek to Little Clare Lake, which will be our stopping point tonight. And that's supposed to be about nine miles and six hours. And we expect it to take about nine hours because that's the way things have been going here. We've been taking it easy and uh, burning new trails. This is Lost Canyon Creek here. It's very nice. Took a little movie here. And Dan feels fine. Yeah, now that we're up here looking at this lake, pretty, pretty good. No mosquitoes. This is a beautiful lake. A beautiful lake. It must be, I don't know, six, eight hundred yards across. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to tell. But on the west side, we have sheer granite uh, cliffs almost rising some 800 feet straight out of the water. Yesterday, we measured the depth of the lake, as was mentioned previously, and arrived at a number of 77 feet. Well, we've hiked up out of Clare, Little Clare Lake and taken off cross-country toward Franklin Pass and come to this beautiful meadow with this magnificent little stream gurgling down through it. And does this water taste good? Listen to that. We had a little lunch here. Took a few pictures. Slid around on the snow. Magnificent panorama. Magnificent panorama all toward the east. Even uh, Mount Whitney is in view, I suppose. Several lakes and a lot of country that we've covered. Beautiful. Now we have to the west the Franklin Lakes. We'll be hiking down to the Franklin Lakes now. And we feel terrific. We're trail wise and tough. 1220 and we're leaving. It's uh, 156 and we've been here 10 and 15 minutes. We've come down from the mountain, past the man-made uh, Franklin Lake here. We're camped uh, above the trail, about 500 feet from the water in the creek down below. Our brave souls with the water buckets are just heading out at 156. Good luck, water bears. They were faking it. There's a, a stream just over the ledge here. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, morning. It's Saturday, August 14th, 8.56 a.m. Almost packed up, ready to move down the trail. 
Ah, Bertina Reynolds, it looks like, maybe. I don't know. Walter Steimley. Ed Castle. Jim Allen. Dan Castle. And Gary Castle, the mountain man. He wants to go back again. Peter Steimley. Yeah. And Todd Kruger. And old man Steimley, who can't get enough of the mountains. And he learned everything he knows from this old mountain geezer. Old, what's his name? Ah, nice truck. And this was the profile of our trip. Sawtooth Pass, Black Rock Pass, the Big Five Lakes, Lost Canyon, Soda Creek, Little Clare Lake, Franklin Pass. Almost 35 miles in a loop. Glorious. When will we do it again? Someday. Someday. Someday.